Good evening, ladies. Welcome to another night of story time. So, you guys, just sit back. That it's going to be a freak. Excuse me, I'm coming out with a cold. But it's going to be a freaky talking video, as usual. Mm. I hate fruit particles in my drink. But anyway, it's strawberry lemonade, nothing major. But like I said, I'm coming out with a little cold feel like, so I'm going to try to talk loud as possible, but not too loud. So like I said, this is going to be another video, um, story, uh, story time freak talk session. And as you see, it will be on <laughs> anal sex. My experience with anal sex. And my first time, oh my god, my first time with anal sex, so. Okay, so my first time, my first time, it was maybe five years ago. Mm, let's go back, my daughter is seven. <sighs> maybe like six or seven years ago was my first time. And it was with my husband, he's the first, and he's probably going to be the last. He is the only though. So I don't plan on leaving. I hope he's not planning to leave. But hey, he was the first one who got this thing back up. Now, how that came to part is because, like, I, he, like you guys know, I have always told you, I am a very freak nasty person. And I'm, I'm very open when it comes to my sex life. I want, I like to try anything at least one time. I don't like to be bored, and therefore. You gotta keep me entertained. So, um, one particular time, I just kept bugging him about it, like, "Babe, I wanna try it. I wanna try it. I wanna try it." And then, like, he just gone ahead and gave it to it. Now, we tried once before, and it did not happen. It wouldn't go in for nothing. So, one particular night, he was at my house, and I was probably like, like, mm, twenty. I'm guessing. I don't know. I don't know what else. Um, and we tried it. And when he, when he, okay, when, oh my god, okay, hold on. When we first did it, it was on the floor. Now I was in doggy style position. And when you do an anal sex, you have to be, you have to relax. You have to relax. You can't tense up. You have to relax your bottom back there. And I'll just. <sighs> kind of shake it off type of shit, you know? And um, so he kept massaging the head. I'm like, oh my God, he's going to fucking put me in the hospital. I'm going to gonna tell the doctor he got my booty. <laughs> so then he actually got it in. And I, I didn't even know because, like, I thought I actually started boo-booing. That's what I thought in my brain, but I did not boo-boo. Cause he was actually going in and out because I know I got past. I know it was hurting for a while, and then the pain just stopped. But then it felt like I started boo booing. I'm like, what is going on? So, oh my god, wrong! I'm shitting! I'm shitting! I'm shitting! I said, I'm shitting on you. He said, calm down. No, you're not. It's just in there, and it started. It kind of felt weird, but you guys, it's oh Jesus! It feels so motherfucking good. Oh god, it do. <laughs> It feels so good. And when I literally say this, and I mean, I don't, I'm not over exaggerating it. I'm not putting a little more oomph in it. I'm not, when I say this, I mean this from the bottom of my fucking heart. The most truth I can tell you truth. <sighs> when he get this ass, he don't even have to touch my pussy. He knows it. He, he knows he don't have to touch nothing down there. If you just get it in that ass and you go to my, just stroking that shit, right, baby? Literally, literally, not just over exaggerating. Literally, my coochie cat literally runs like fucking water. I'm not talking about over exaggerating shit i'm talking about literally the shit was rolling down my by my fucking knee i said wrong just hold your hand here and he holds his hand like just between my legs i touch my private he's just really just dropping he said the fuck i still right bitch you don't know you don't know so you guys 
he put that bitch in there. He went to stroking and stroking, and I just couldn't take that shit no fucking more. Then years passed by. We haven't we didn't do it for a while. And I'm like, babe, your wee wee just won't go in there anymore. I, I don't know, my booty hole just. I don't know what happened to it. It's just, <laughs> I don't know. It just won't go in there. I don't know if your wee wee, you, because, you know, being me and private, stupid little girl. I don't know if your wee wee got even bigger or what, but hey. He's not going in there. So, um, like, two months ago. I was just bullshitting around so I want to do it. And he fucked around and actually got it in there, baby. And I did not know how to fucking act. I was so excited. I was like, oh my god, oh my god. I've been missing this for a <laughs> I've been missing this shit for a long time. And then when he finally did it, and he fucked around, took it out, want to put it back in. I went to cuss his ass. I put it back in. I'll be fucking taking it out and want to put it back in. Just leave it in there. Just fuck me, shit. I get mad if you take it out. I don't give a fuck if you fucking gonna come, bitch. You better better not come. You're gonna continue to fuck me. And so, yeah. And um, so I had a conversation with one of my homegirls. And she wanted to try it out. I told her, I told her how I felt about it. So, honestly, I freaking love anal sex. I am down for the cause, baby. That me on that shit. I'm down for that shit. But it's not for everybody. Everybody can't take it. Everybody don't can't get used to the feeling. With me, baby, anal sex is is on my top three list of sex. I just I just have to have it. But we haven't did it since. You see, I'm getting excited. I'm getting fucking pumped now. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about gonna wicking his ass up. Say, hey, like I want to do this shit. But you know, I never wrote it. I never wrote it before. In the butt. I mean, like years ago, he did fold me up with my legs over his shoulders, and he was fucking me like that, and like from the back and from the side. But I never like. I don't see how the the girls in the porn be riding it with their booty. I'm like, I don't know if I can take it like that, Daddy. Ugh, you know. <laughs> but for real, for real, like I don't know. But back to my homegirl. She tried it. She said she didn't like it because like it was so painful. I said you will forget that stinging. Kind of hurting sensation when you um when trying to get the head in, but once you get the head in, he go to stroke it a little bit, trying to get you to relax. You have to stay relaxed. You have to use some lube. Use um I used um KY jelly, and that works good for me. Everything that works good for everybody. Just use the water based lube. There are some oil based lube, but I like the water based lube. Um, definitely no condom, but even if you are with, make sure you do it with somebody that. You trust. Period. Point blank. Period. Point blank. Like they say, best sex is the safe sex. But I'm married, so I'm not have to worry about that safe sex shit. But um, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Get you some anal toys. I have anal toys for anal beads. They used to be in my bathroom. I could have showed you, but I just thought about it. Then they're not in here anymore. But they go from teeny tiny up to like a size big ball like that. <laughs> and I have an anal vibrator. So get little toys so you can open up, open up your butt a little bit if you want to try it. Have your spouse to do it. Don't have no damn spouse that just want to just rush in and be a fucking asshole. Have someone that one that's willing to take their time with you to keep you relaxed. Get a couple of drinks in your system. Like I'm right now, I'm so thirsty. Even though I ain't nothing. Even though I'm about to post some goose in there, but hey, I'd really be out. But yeah, try that. And just have at it. So, if you never tried anal sex before, I advise you to try it if you're thinking about it. Uh, if you have, let's get discussion popping below, ladies. What do you think about anal sex? Even from the ones that have not done it before. Um, tell me your thoughts on it. Would you try it? Would you like to try it? Have you tried it? Was it a good experience? I hate that feel like I'm being cold. Was it a good experience? Was it a bad experience? Like, tell me all the juicy details. You know, I want to know. And um, if you have any more questions or ideas um, for my next story time, you guys already know, drop me a line below. Be sure to thumbs this video up, share it, rate, subscribe, comment, tell your friends about me. 
And like I said, continue to share them and continue to thumbs up and comment to let me know you like these type of videos and you want to see more of them. And I'll see you guys next time in my next video. Follow me on Instagram, you guys, at Miss Redbone2010. And your girl is out. Love you guys.